Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I got another question that I was going to answer in this video today about learning C++. How do you learn C++? And there's a little bit more to it than just that. So this question is from Alberto, and I'm going to kind of paraphrase a bit here, summarize this, because it's a little bit long. Um, he said that he came across a post regarding whether or not C++ was making a comeback, and he's got a simple thing to ask. How did I learn C++? Uh, he basically says that he's been studying at a university to get his BS in computer science, and he's been getting stumped on how to actually program in C++. Uh, he, he says the school doesn't offer too much. It focuses on uh, learning the uses and how to create structures and functions on paper, uh, which he's been getting through the course with. But he needs to learn how to actually program and can't find any help. Um, he's been told by TAs uh, and some faculty members to look up tutorials instead of trying to teach them uh, methods, which makes things harder because you can't look up a section of code and transfer it over because we actually have to define our own library functions based on STL. Uh, you know, basically other people use STL. If you're familiar with C++, it's a, a template, standard template library or language library. Um, and, uh, and it, it shortcuts a lot of things like creating lists and, you know, the, the kind of what, what you would see in a lot of Java, .NET framework uh, kind of library functions. Um, he says, so now I may be looking at this wrong, but in any case, C++ is the only language we'll really use until we graduate. And I cannot keep uh, skimming by simply uh, on the pen and paper portions of the courses. Is there any advice that you can offer? Okay, so uh, Alberto, here's, here's the deal. C++ is difficult to learn. Uh, it, it, you know, obviously, it's a language that I don't really recommend learning today as opposed to C Sharp or Java or, or JavaScript, but your school is requiring you to learn it. It's not a bad language to learn because if you can do C++, you can program in any other programming language because everything is easier than C++. So that should make you feel somewhat good because it's hard, and that's why you're having trouble with it. Uh, you, what, what, what I hear you describing is that you're basically learning some of the constructs of C++, how to, you know, how to solve algorithms and, and how to build structures, but you're not actually learning how to program in C++. You actually want to write an application. This was something I struggled with for a long time, especially when I was learning C++, is I felt like I could create classes. Sure, I could do that. I can create a function for you if you want that you know reverses a string or, or whatever. But how would I actually write a real application using C++? Well, uh, the good news is, fortunately for you, there's not a lot of real applications that you would start today that you would write it from a, a new application in C++. If you get a job doing C++ work, most likely you will be extending an existing application or supporting it. Uh, you know, some companies do create new applications in C++ today. I know I'm going to get a little bit of hate from that, but, uh, but I'm just telling you majority, you know, and likely you'll be programming in Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, unless you specifically are looking for a C++. So, so here's the thing. If you want to learn it, uh, and you want to learn to the degree of being able to build the applications, uh, first of all, uh, you, you do need to use the STL, right? Uh, when you see example code that's using STL, I know you can implement it in your, in your classroom, but real world usage, uh, people don't implement things themselves. They use STL, they use libraries, and that's the most important skill. So recognize that that it actually is important, uh, and, and that's not a shortcut. It's not, you're not really learning uh, C++. That's the first thing. The second thing is you need to actually build something of substantial, uh, of substantial size or contribute to something. I, I wouldn't recommend just creating your own C++ app. Uh, I mean, there's obviously frameworks that you can create a Windows app, uh, you know, Windows 8 supports it, or you can create a Linux app or, you know, a lot of different platforms. You can even program iPhone and, and, uh, and Android using C++, although it's, it's quite difficult. Uh, but you might be better served by looking on something like GitHub to see if you can find a C++ project that you can contribute to. Start by fixing bugs. That's what you'll do in, in the real world. Trying to understand the code base uh, and then adding some features. Uh, if, and, and then if that works out and you're feeling comfortable, 
then the next step would be to create your own application, to create something simple, maybe a very simple Windows application or Android. Just pick a platform, uh, learn the tools for it. That's going to be the hardest part is getting set up for that and then go through it. But here's the thing about learning C++ in general. It takes time and it's difficult and it's just going to be a matter of doing a, writing a lot of C++ code. Uh, one of the ways that I really learned C++ best is I use a site called TopCoder and they have all these kind of problems that you have to solve and a competition interface if you want to do that. And I, in Top Coder, you solve like this algorithm problem and, it, and other people are competing to do that at the same time. And so, you know, there's a part where you solve these three different problems and you use STL or whatever and you, you try to solve it. And then after that, you come to this round where you check other you try to challenge other people's solutions so you give them bad inputs that will break their their program well you get to see their code when you do that uh, so that kind of helped me to learn how other people were doing this that were really good at C++ and um, and that really helped me I just started doing top coder every single week or like twice a week for a while and that really brought my C++ skills up but yeah C++ is a difficult language to learn you're just gonna have to write a lot of code the more code that you write and the more code that uh, that is actually doing something useful so that's why I say contribute to some kind of open source project start your own project and that's how you're you're really going to to learn it and uh, yeah it's it's a big thing don't you know you need to learn STL as well because that's a real-world thing uh, a couple of books I recommend effective C++ by Scott Meyer that whole series uh, if you go through effective C++ and more effective C++ and I think he has effective STL I used to love those books those are really great C++ books uh, code complete is another great book not necessarily C++ but just in general of structuring your your code but, uh, but yeah, hopefully that helps you. Good luck with this. Uh, don't worry too much. You know, you got to think, though, if you're going to become a C++ programmer or not. It, you know, if, if you're not, then don't worry too, too much about understanding C++ that much. But if you do master it, you, like I said, you'll be able to do any other programming language pretty easily because it, it's, it's much easier. Once you can manage memory and pointers and all that in C++, a lot of things become a lot easier. So, it, so don't worry. Don't get too overwhelmed. Other people do it. You'll do it uh, just fine. You just got to keep on, on hitting it. Uh, and get, get your own projects going. Start writing a lot of C++ code and read some really good C++ books like the Effective C++ series. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below or send me an email and uh, subscribe to the channel. Take care.